Joe Biden took to the primetime airwaves to convince you that Republicans, specifically anyone who supports or voted for Donald Trump, are a threat to America, to democracy, to the world, apparently. Let's be very, very clear about this. Joe Biden is the most dangerous demagogue in my lifetime. He's a feeble old man who is clearly suffering from dementia, and we can no longer pass it along as if it's normal, because it certainly is not. Joe Biden's deranged dementia is not normal, nor is it acceptable. He is a man consumed by mental deterioration. He's a man that has never stood for anything, and he's a man that will, and in fact has shown he will happily sell America down the road. He did it last night in the most dark, divisive speech I've ever seen. I'm disgusted, frankly. He went wild in attacking the very same America that allowed him, a plagiarizing lowlife, to rise to the prominence of the leader of the free world. Let me be perfectly clear. Joe Biden is an incompetent dirtbag. He's not capable of cleaning the shoes of Ronald Reagan. And to be perfectly fair, he couldn't clean the shoes of Bill Clinton or Barack Obama either. That's a fact. Joe Biden is, and always has been, a big fat nobody. And guess what that didn't change? That didn't change when Obama selected the dimwit Joe to be the vice president. It didn't change when the rules were changed to push him into the Oval Office. Joe Biden was then and is today a dirtbag. He will always be a dirtbag. Don't believe me? How about a couple of hundred videos of pedophile Joe sniffing girls under the age of 12 that are clearly concerned by his pedophile behavior? Or is it too soon to tell the truth? Is it too, too, too soon to tell the truth, Mike? Just asking. Joe Biden is a pig. And it explains why his junkie kid Hunter is a pig, like father, like son. That is why they say all of these things. So let's jump into the deep end of the pool, shall we? We're going to start with bites. Let me see, where are we? 15 and 16, I think. We're going to jump into the deep end of the pool here. We're going to go to this, this speech last night, this deeply divisive speech. Um, by the way, shrouded in red light and black. It reminded me of something. I think it was Germany, 1938, maybe. That's what it looked like. And Joe Biden clenching his fists and screaming about MAGA Republicans and how they're a threat to democracy. The only thing that's a threat to democracy are these socialist pigs in office. I'm done with it. I've had it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. How about that? Bite number 15. That's where we're going to start. Bite number 15. Joe Biden off the rails attacking half of America last night. Bite 15. Go. And now America must choose to move forward or to move backwards, to build a future or obsess about the past, to be a nation of hope and unity and optimism, or a nation of fear, division, and of darkness. MAGA Republicans have made their choice. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. They live not in the light of truth, but in the shadow of lies. But together, together, we can choose a different path. We can choose a better path forward to the future, a future of possibility, a future to build and dream and hope. And we're on that path moving ahead. Well, we can dream and hope that Joe Biden won't be there in 15 minutes. That's a dream that I have, that Joe Biden will no longer be president. What a dirtbag. It's the nicest term I can come up with on a family program here. Joe Biden is a lowlife and a dirtbag. He does nothing to unite America. He does everything to divide America. It was on full display last night. I've never seen anything like it, ever, ever. Attacking Americans because they believe that citizenship matters. You know what he didn't mention last night? Fentanyl, the border, the economy. American middle class people suffering because of his bad policy. He mentioned none of that. He mentioned Donald Trump three times and MAGA 16 times. But as far as addressing the real problems in America, he had nothing to say about it. Why? Because he's a dirtbag. He's a lowlife. He has nothing to run on, so he's trying to run over half of America to convince you that somehow I'm a threat to democracy, that people like me are a threat to democracy. Well, that's a pile of BS, and he knows it. Or maybe he doesn't know it. That's the problem. Does Joe Biden have a clue? <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Get out of the way. America is coming. Real Americans, white, black, Hispanic, men, women, 
America is coming, Joe. Give you another sample here. Bite number 16 of Joe Biden spewing hatred and divisive rhetoric. Bite 16. Go. Democracy cannot survive when one side believes there are only two outcomes to an election. Either they win or they were cheated. And that's where the MAGA Republicans are today. <laughs> they don't understand what every um, patriotic America knows. You can't love your country only when you win. It's fundamental. American democracy only works only if we choose to respect the rule of law and the institutions that were set up in this chamber behind me. Only if we respect our legitimate political differences. I will not stand by and watch. I will not the will of the American people be overturned by wild conspiracy theories and baseless evidence-free claims of fraud. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they lost. Yep, to tell you what I won't sit by and do and let people like him badmouth the United States of America. Joe Biden is a dirtbag, an absolute lowlife. A guy here to divide America in the hopes that he can hang on to some sort of power so that he can turn America into a socialist cesspool. I won't allow it. You can't allow it. Enough. Enough. We will turn out in massive numbers in November on Election Day to cast ballots in person. To cast this crew of creeps out of power. We cannot allow the socialists to take one more inch. And listen to me, I understand the questions about 2020, that's fine. But if we don't vote, we don't win. If we don't vote, we give in. I will not. I will not surrender. Joe Biden and that kind of rhetoric has no place in my country. We're going to throw him and all the bums out. All of the damn bums. Out. Get away from my White House. Get away from my Constitution. Get away from Philadelphia and Independence Hall and all of it. I've had all I can take. When I come back, we're going to talk about the reaction from people to Joe Biden recently. This is why his poll numbers are falling, because he's a failure. And again, yes, Joe Biden is a dirtbag. I'll be right back. <laughs> 